Hi, my name is Coach Judith, and I am going to be walking you through another episode of our Quarantine Coding Club. For those of you who are new to Quarantine Coding Club, I have been uh, teaching with Metacoders and with ThoughtStem coding to kids for about six years. I've worked in industry, I've worked in classrooms, and now I am working online teaching coding. I think it's a really important skill for everybody to learn, and I'm looking forward to going through this with you. The way these episodes work, I will be playing a video that was created by my coworker, Stephen, and we'll be talking about it as we watch. So here goes the video. Let's design this episode. Maybe we could have five parts, each lasting one minute. Let's pretend I have to choose one word to describe each part. Okay, I just wanna stop it here because I wanna point out that Stephen, uh, who you will meet in this episode, is a coder. He is a uh, computer scientist. And what I find very interesting, and he's talked about it in other episodes, is he likes to design on paper. He doesn't like to use computer tools to design things. He does. He starts on paper. So I think that's very interesting. We're gonna, He's uh, going to be talking to us right now about how he designed this episode that we're watching. And he's saying he designed um, it in five separate minute segments. Let's keep watching. Uh, I guess meta value story design and big all right so there are five parts of this five minute episode the first minute we're going to talk about is meta let's hear what that means we're here in meta right now and it's been about 24 seconds here we'll discuss the episode itself that's what we're doing right now in value i want to have Okay, so meta is a word that we use at our company a lot. Our company's name is Meta Coders. We are people that code to create code. And in this case, what meta means is he is talking to us about how he designs the episode in the episode that he has designed that we are watching. So it's kind of circular, but that's what meta means. So we're talking about how the episode is designed in the episode that we are watching that was already designed. Let's see about value. A heart to heart, where we talk about you and me and the value that I think watching this show has. Okay, so he's talking about the value minute, but let's remember that we're still in the first minute, which is the meta section of the, the video. So the meta section where we're talking about how he designed the episode is including how the organization of the video. So the value section that he's gonna, he's talking about right now, the value of the video, but he's talking about how he's designing the value. So that is the meta aspect of it. Little bit confusing, but I hope that helps. In story, I'll spend a minute on why I'm coding versus COVID-19. Okay, the story. So if you're reading a book that might be called The Plot, um, the, the story of the video. So remember the first minute is the meta section. We're still in that meta section while he's describing his design. And then the value that he wants us to get out of the video, then the story. Let's keep watching. In design, I'll show you my process today for solving problems by tackling the biggest one facing me right now. Okay, so design is kind of the uh, how do you create the video, and he's going to tell us about some of the problems that he has had creating these videos. In big, I'll try to inspire you to think big. You can make a difference now more than ever. This is you. Okay, so that was our first minute of the five-minute video. That was the meta portion of the video. Now we are going to be switching over to the value portion of the video. And this is me. And my goal with this show is to provide value. Now there's a challenge here because there's not just one you. Okay, so uh, I love Steven's little drawings there. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. So the value is what he is trying, the reason he's putting out these videos, why he's trying to uh, teach something within these videos. And what he's showing us is just like in every classroom and every type of performance, there's one 
performer or one teacher teaching a lot of different students. In this case, it's whoever's watching the video. You might be an expert coder or an expert artist or even an expert designer. So wondering how many of you consider yourselves expert coders or expert artists or designers. And I think in this case, what he means is people who um, design videos. So he's creating a video. And so he's wondering how many of us that are watching consider themselves to be expert at either creating videos or at coding. You might be a complete beginner at one or more of those things, or you might Okay, and so some of you that are watching are beginners. Maybe this is the first episode that you've watched of our Quarantine Coding Club, or maybe you've never done coding before, or you've never created a video, so you could be a beginner. Might not care about any of the words I've written on this page at all. My plan to provide value is to- All right, and the third is uh, people that are in some other category that are like, why are we even doing this? Why are we watching this? So let's see what value he wants to provide to each of these three different groups. Tackle hard problems with code during COVID-19 and to try to capture that story on film. So if you're a beginner, you'll get to witness a weird blend of coding and the arts to solve real problems. All right, so for those of you who are beginners, uh, we, we hope that this will be an entertaining video. You'll be watching uh, Stephen using code and using art as we sort of go through this COVID-19 pandemic across the globe. So we're hoping that as a beginner, you'll enjoy this. When I say bring paper, you're the ones I'm talking to. So uh, this is not for this episode, but a lot of the episodes, we will ask you to bring paper to follow along. If you're an expert, I hope you'll be able to sit back and enjoy the quirkiness of the show and the jokes that go over beginners' heads. Okay, so some of the jokes Stephen thinks go over beginners' heads, but I think even as beginners, I think you will still enjoy them. But I think the idea is that he's throwing in some jokes that even if you're an expert, you'll enjoy. And if you're someone in this box, well, the value I want to provide you is a good story. So that third box is probably the hardest box. Um, so now he's explaining why, if you don't know what you're watching this for, it's because he wants you to enjoy the story. Okay, we are going to now transition over to the third minute of the five minute video. And at this point, we're gonna conclude the response to the first half of this episode, and we'll be starting up again uh, in another video. Thanks, bye.